It's week 11 of the National Football League. And coming up, we'll see Dak Prescott. Solid performance a week ago, throwing for three touchdowns. It's the Dolphins and the 49ers on Monday night. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Tonight, we wrap up Week 11 with a great Monday nighter as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Miami Dolphins. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. As we get a peek at their dynamic signal caller hailing from Mississippi State, it's Dak Prescott. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies exactly what he was getting done. He did have the one interception. But that's the ratio you say you're okay with, right? If you go three to one, you're going to be pretty happy over the course of the season. And let's face it, he'll never blame the receiver publicly. But behind closed doors, he probably told his agent, hey, what's the deal? I should have had a perfect game. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. And despite injuries like these, Charles, with these guys missing, they've been able to keep that pursuit of perfection alive so far. That just shows the depth that they have on the roster and the guys who are serious about being ready when their number is called. Someone goes down, someone jumps in, and they don't skip a beat. I think this team has a bunch of those guys, and some of them will be called on again this week. Out of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Corbin. There he goes, right side. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. Outside hand off to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him. But don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. Where they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. And nobody leaked. Big play. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Throw left side. Caught by LaPorta. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that will bring up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. At the 49ers, 18-yard line. Gibbs straight ahead. Gets around him. And the Dolphins are going to have a first and goal as he's inside the 10, down to the 7-yard line. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. To throw is Prescott. This will be caught just inside the 10. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just... Touchdown, Dolphins! Sam Laporta, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Alder Gross is on for the extra point. And that makes it 7 nothing, Dolphins. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. 
And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And leading them out there, we get a look at their six-three quarterback. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. The numbers for Hill a week ago, pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. Had a bit of a lane there, took advantage of it. Give him seven there on the first down carry. So, Charles, you look at this offense, and really on paper, at least a great situation for him upcoming. They're unbeaten on the year, an open week coming up after this. So I guess my question, any worry that maybe this is coming at the wrong time? Oh, definitely I would be worried about this game, maybe more than any other on the schedule, because I know my guys are looking ahead to that open week. I've got to keep them focused on the task ahead. Make sure they take care of business in this one. Otherwise, you're talking about a double trap. The trap of losing the game and then having the open week and having to steal about it. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. A give up the gut to Hill. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Second down go. in the yard. The will bring a receiver Three. in motion right. Here's Hill again on second down. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. Delay of game, offense. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Following the penalty, it's Hill. Jesse Bates made the tackle from a safety spot. This defense for the Dolphins, they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's what you would consider a goal for each and every defense because if you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team because you expect your offense to score more than that. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course, but I'd have to say a very solid performance. Underneath here to Hill. And he's going to be taken down, but there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold, or did they rough the quarterback? So roughing the passer, and this is a unit, Charles. They hold their breath every time they see their quarterback go down and get hit like that. Yeah, they understand how important these last couple of months are for this team. They can still afford to have anything happen to him if they want to accomplish their goals. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. 
A great effort there. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the 49ers are able to match the opening drive touchdown against him with one of their own. Elliott Good with a PAT. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs. So they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. You look at this Niner defense. They put together a strong effort last week in the win over the Bears CD. And it was the pass rush that really keyed their victory. Got to the quarterback six times for sacks and plenty of other turbulence in the pocket for him as well. That's to the tight end, Laporta. And he'll lose yardage here back at the 41. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. On now to punt, Brad Robbins. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. This will be fielded at the 17. A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it and let's go with it. A nice burst there as they'll get about seven that time on the first down run. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. The second down throw now from Stroud. Eluding the pressure right. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade Ready. people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. St. Brown in motion right. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Now, during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. On second down, it's Stroud. Flushed out right. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Ready, set.
On first down, here's Stroud. Flush to his right. That'll be complete to Cook. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now hang on here. Not what you want to see because Dalvin Cook injured, at least for the moment, and in some discomfort. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Stroud looking to throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. One of the tight ends comes in motion. Again, it's Hill. And not a whole lot there as they'll get him down at about the two. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Three tight ends up front here. Third and goal. Throwing now is Stroud. And he holds it in zone touchdown San Francisco. Kyle Pitts, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. But I don't know if last year as a rookie, if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that as they continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Dolphins offense returning to the field. That 7-0 lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Max Crosby has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, that's an excellent way to get the pass rush activated. The first sack of the game for them comes on the first play of the drive, and it makes it very tough for the opponent to pick up a first down now, playing behind the sticks. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now it's a bootleg with Prescott. Caught by Cobb. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really... Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. Personal foul. Rushing the passer defense. 
Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on their early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. Throwing, Prescott. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And down right around the 32-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. The Dolphins on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Prescott. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back at the 38. T.J. Watt, the all-pro, in there to take him down. Uh, partner, you know what I'm going to say before I even say it. Yeah, you just cannot take a sack in that spot. You're exactly right. You can't take a sack in that spot. Potentially now a three-point swing right there. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And it may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has go, a game, we as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, a lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. Yeah, he's made the most of it to this point. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outer boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Jefferson going to go in motion right. Here's Stroud. In trouble, and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Here is third and quite a ways. They try the left side with Hill. Down the left sideline. He may go. And he's going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 10-yard line. 109 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. One of the reasons that this team is on this win streak, big runs like that. When you see runs like that broken off, you know this is a team that's confident running the okay, football. Break. A big reason why this streak has occurred, they've come together, had a plan, and stuck to it. Go, and when you get big-time runs check. like that, it makes it easier to stay with it, doesn't it? And Stroud now to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Come on, let's go. A six-yard pickup brings up go, second Jack. and goal at the three-yard line. Panther Street! Panther Street! Stroud to throw it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. This goes to the goal line. you got to be very careful with the offense calls for every line. So I call a pick, trying to screen you off from your coverage. Does a nice job of avoiding that and helping force an incompletion. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Now Stroud to the end zone, but it's incomplete. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. Now Jake Elliott for the field goal try. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. The kick by Elliott is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, 
that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Prescott looks to throw on first. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. At the 17-yard line. And now a timeout defensively after that first down play. So they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. Here we go, 46. He'll take the knee in the final couple seconds. will tick by in this first half. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll get started out at past the halfway point of the season and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They've got the lead yet again in this ball game with their winning streak right now sitting at 10. They start the second half with Hill. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Stroud now on second down. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. A good decision in the end. The pull it and run gets him nine yards and a first. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. They'll go with Hill here on first down. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Now to change things up, Stroud will throw it. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Pitts. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 27-yard line. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 27. Up the middle, it's Hill. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called, they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage. He's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. They'll wind up losing 10 on the sack, and it'll lead to a third and long. Stroud. Escaping the pressure right. And he is caught. And he's out of bounds. 
Jones almost gets to the 10. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Now a first down carry, it's Hill. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. They'll try and run for it. Here's Hill. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Taking it in from two yards out. And the 49ers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. On third down and short, and everything well executed, he not only gets the first down, Charles, he gets the touchdown as well. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations, but there's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may play action you. They took advantage of that hesitancy and found their way into the end zone with a running play. Elliott good on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional. There he goes, left side. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 49 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. First down, Prescott. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Prescott. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the ten to the seven. That puts him in excellent position, first and goal after a gain of 19. That's a nice job right there. Get the ball out to the perimeter. Get it to your guy in space. And he's just going to take this, turn up field, and turn it into a big play in first and goal. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. But the passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top-10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute off. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Jameer Gibbs taking it in from seven yards. 
it's away. And the Dolphins are able to cut into that deficit. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the lead down to 10, 24-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's yeah, a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. Ready. On the ground with Hill to begin the drive. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 18 more yards there and another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Touchdown, 49ers! A great play there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the 49ers will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Well, he was already over 100 yards running the football prior to this play, but this run may be his best yet. I've got to agree with you on that one. We're looking at a guy running with extreme confidence, running in harmony and sync with his blockers. All of them kind of moving is one. And look at the end result. Big plays. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. But Jameer Gibbs and the rest of the offense headed back out. So he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Had the touchdown, as you see, last drive on four carries. And during the break, we were looking at some of the replays from the previous drive. Really good holes created, great space. Yeah, I like the observation you had, though, during that break about, okay, They've got to do something to slow down their runners. So is it bringing in more defensive linemen? Is it dropping in extra linebackers? What are you going to do? Personally, I'm going to take my safety and drop him into the box. I'm going to have at least seven in there until he shows that he can beat me through the air. Yeah. I've got to slow down the running. I was game. just going to say, you'll take the exposure in the passing game. Over. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football, but they trail here as we get set for the fourth. Prescott on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Tell you what, partner, after he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soaking a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. Yeah, once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. Now he's loose down the left sideline. And he will go out of bounds down at the 15-yard line. A huge play there on the screen pass. 43 yards. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. They'll run on first down. Corbin. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. And we're going to stop play here, at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. 
And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. The San Francisco defense trying to hold tough again. This is third and goal. Gibbs. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. Holding offense. So a decision to make there. They decline the penalty as they'd rather force the fourth down. A 20-yard attempt. Rosas' kick is good, and that will close the gap down to 14. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still got to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping Hungry. track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of know. <laughs> but I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. We'll see if he can do it. Stroud now on first and 10. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 44 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there, and on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing, in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. The busy night continues for Hill. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. Stroud out of the gun here. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling the back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they take advantage of what looked like an unsure defense. They wind up getting eight on fourth and three. Back to throw. Here's Stroud, eluding the pressure right. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. Personal foul, the passer, defense. Well, trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that personal foul, that only adds to the hole that they're currently standing in. Yeah, absolutely a bad job of just losing your cool and letting your anger take over. Mistakes like that, not going to help you at this stage of the game. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Check it, check it. On second down, it's Hill. 
And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. So now things get interesting on third and goal from the one. This almost becomes a Darwinian call, doesn't it? Almost survival of the fittest here. I know we can go all cliche. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great effort there with his second touchdown of the night. And the Niners add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Dolphins 17. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. 13 yards on the play. On play That's action, good. Prescott. That is caught by Laporta. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. On first and 10, Prescott. On oh, the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Roughing the passer, defense. Well, that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused. And he'll take this into the end zone for the Dolphins touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Rosas good with the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The drive summary that time, five plays. And a nice play on the end of it. An 18-yard touchdown run. And the 49er hands team does its job. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. Ball on the 39, here's the second down and four. Rig alert, rig alert. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And they will finally haul him down at the Dolphins' seven-yard line. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. They'll try to pound it in with Hill. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Niners have 11-0 in their sights as they add on to their lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Miami set to take over. Well, probably not much that they can do at this point, CD. Down three scores late in the fourth quarter. 
This is going to be a little too much to overcome, you would think. Yeah, they'll go down swinging, but in the end, I think we saw the writing on the wall a while back because one team was clearly better than the other in this one. And while it didn't quite reach blowout status, I think we knew who was going to win this one well before we got to this stage. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Foul. Roughing the passer defense. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, partner. There's no intent here because Von Miller, former NFL Man of the Year Award winner, he likes to play the game the right way. But in this case, makes a mistake and gets in just a little bit too late, and that draws the penalty. And that is caught. It's Ridley. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw is Prescott going underneath Gibbs has it and just three yards on the catch there he couldn't get away and that'll make it second down to the air again Prescott over the middle and take it in by Laporta touchdown Sam Laporta a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game and the Dolphins get a bit closer PAT up and good by Rosas. And the lead will be cut down to 14. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally. But here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he will have a Niners first down, and that ought to be the one that seals the victory. And they take a knee. To a knee goes Stroud, and that is going to be all she wrote. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. And with inside of 10 seconds, eight to be precise, we get whistles and a timeout on the field. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have the kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx him. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. This is just an exercise in futility. Do you, do you even bother running a play here offensively? I wouldn't because now is not going to erase what's happened during the game. So after it's over, you're going to go to the film, find out where the game was really lost. But this is not a situation now where you're going to make up for anything. We'll see what they do here. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. That penalty accepted, and they move the ball forward. One last shot now for Prescott. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles' defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest.
Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better.